What's going on guys? Metrox 63 c from the Space Lounge. I am the Cosmic Emperor. Today, we're going to talk about Stream Elements. And the reason why I want to talk about Stream Elements is because this is a problem that I think a few people face. This is definitely something that I personally go through um, in terms of the user experience. Now, Stream Elements on their own, uh, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, website, and a pretty good, pretty good alert system. Um, but the one problem I always end up facing is the alerts themselves, and um, not sure how many people caught on to the fact that every time you make an overlay, uh, every overlay has to be hand done exactly the same. Which is why every time you use a, uh, a template, they're all uniformly the same, and the alerts are all the same. Same sound, same default, everything. Unless they, unless the person who made this, who uploaded it, did some extra time and added their own sound, which I don't know of any uh, um, overlays that do that, right? But I always found this issue uh, for me, which would be like stream alerts. So say someone subscribes, someone follows, someone donates. Um, every different scene that I use, I have to go in there and I have to edit it. Now, the easiest way to do it is to do uh, one overlay to basically rule them all. Um, so, have all your different overlays. For example, we'll go to the website real quick. Don't mind these metrics. Now, where we want to go to is overlays. And right now, you can see all my custom ones that I have. So if we go into them, uh, let's see, if we go into one, uh, this is my stream starting one. Really basic, uh, just throw it together, doesn't matter. But you see how like it all, how it all looks. Like got my character, even though he's in a outdated, out of season outfit. So you see how you got all this starting soon. It's very basic, not too over the top. But we come in here. Where is it again? Starting soon. If we go in, then we let it load. You can see. There we go. So now it's acting right. Let's, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. You can see when we test it. And originally that's supposed to play a Metroid sound effect, uh, but I have have the audio muted on the recording end for the uh, the video but you saw how Samus dances and everything and then like it has an explosion of emotes and I selected what emote it uses I set that specifically for this one so now if we come over let's just say leave so if we come back here let's just say main overlay I think this is my yeah this is my gaming overlay which has nothing behind it because it uses another overlay for these these background elements that are not seen. And if we come to here, it's the same overlay. The problem is, is that I had to set these individually. I had to go in there and make sure they were the same sound, same sound effect, uh, same everything. How you fix that is basically if I can find it well we'll just make a new one uh, I can't see it on here so we'll just make one from blank how you fix that is we'll just say 1080p overlay name uh, test of recording all right test rec go in there and edit and what you want to do just go to widgets. So let me in there. I think it's still loading. Come on. It's still loading. It's not letting me do anything right now. Give it a second. That's the one weird thing about. Oh, there it is. Okay. So alert box. When I come to alert box, right? So here's the box. It's gonna lag around because it can't handle the speed that I'm moving it in. Cause it's all done on a done on a server somewhere else. 
Um, and if we do this, here's the basic overlay. Some random shark, some random dude in a shark in a shark outfit that they they recorded for this. All right. So we're just gonna we're gonna edit this. I'm gonna come here, replace him, and these are all my alerts that I have that I normally use. Some of them I don't use anymore. Uh, so we got Samus dancing. Then we need to get the audio, which would be... And I had to turn it down because depending on how loud this is, because you can't, you can somewhat control the audio from um, the desktop audio, I guess. But I like controlling the audio from here because I know the browser source is completely different. And depending on how OBS handles those things, I don't want to like blow someone's ears out. Because when OBS is open, it also plays that at the exact same level for me. So we're gonna go ahead and test it and just leave it like it is. And right now you can't hear the sound that's playing. I just, I'm pausing, long pausing while it plays for you guys. Uh, so I don't stumble over my words while it plays. But basically, you make the one overlay. So anytime someone follows or say, you know, gives uh, biddies or sends money or subscribes or hosts or raids, each one of these will be set at a certain volume, certain animation, and the text will all be uniform. Because the problem is, and I'll go ahead and save it, because I'm probably gonna use this later. Um, I had one set up, but I think I got rid of it by accident. The problem is, is that each one of these are all different. None of them sync together, none. The only way that they sync is that when one is active, it takes over the alerts. But if you add in a second browser source on top of the original browser source for the scenes, so these are all considered scenes, right? I'll show you what I mean. St uh, starting soon, be right back, stream ended, uh, main game, uh, most likely used for uh, IRL for face cam, right? Individual scenes. They all have individual overlays, individual sound alert settings, but they're all uniform because this, this particular pack was uploaded and approved by elements so they're all going to be the same once you start customizing it you'll find out real quick that everything needs to be uniform everything needs to be this and you're gonna spend a whole lot less time if you just go into all of these delete the, the alert and then make an alert by itself nothing else and then just put it in the one spot and then build your overlays according to where the alerts are. Or don't even care and just have it in a uniform spot. Build your overlays uniformly to have kind of the same theme going. And then it doesn't really matter where the alerts go because they're going to cover up something, right? Just let it cover up what it covers up for the, la for the next five seconds, six seconds. And you're done. You just got to do it once, set it, forget it. And I, I figure this would be a problem especially to newer streamers. That's why I'm making this. I've been streaming for like a couple of years now, but as much as I like this, this is the one flaw that I wish I could like sync up to every overlay because even when I'm in these overlays, I like my overlay the best. I don't like what they have. Like the only one I like that they have is this one because it drops down and it spreads apart transformatively like it's a, some sort of transformer-esque type of thing. I like that. The rest of these, I don't like how they look. The only other one that I like besides that is the Rocket League ones. The only other ones, like in terms of up here, that's the, uh, if you can see right here, that's the stuff that comes down whenever someone donates, follows, subscribes. Other than that, there's one other one from this pack that I deleted the rest because I didn't need them, but it's like a Rocket League ball with like different sides to it, kind of like a dice in a way, a weird ball dice type of thing. Um, and that's the only two that I like. I don't like any of the other ones, really. Um, the old overlay consisted of parts of these. One of these is part of my old overlay that I combined with this one. Um, but you have to go around, you have to mix around, and you have to keep editing this and that. Uh, keep editing 
these parts, which are basically where people can find you at, what's your name. Uh, these you don't have to mess with because I know I know what these are down here for a fact. I can show you. Um, down here for a fact, if I can get it to load, there it is. You see, this is where all my Discord, my yeah, my Instagram, my Discord, all that. And it's broken right now. I don't know why it's not loading, but it, it'll, it'll load normally if you were to load the page normally. It's for some reason it broke itself. And then you got the name, follower, subscriber. You know, you have to go in and not edit these, not this. You know, for each one of these overlays, for this particular style right here, this particular pack, you'd have to go in and edit each one of these. So while you're doing this, to save yourself time on at least one thing, you're better off letting, you're better off doing all this than going and deleting the, the alerts and then coming in and creating an alert. I know this video took about 10 or so-ish minutes to explain, but there's no easy way for me to explain it because I'm bad at explaining things. I just wanted to get that out there. So, you know, there's there's more tutorials out there of how to do things easier and more efficient. Because instead of doing like five different times of the same alert, go and click it, go and find it, go and edit it on there, which for some people might not mind, but for people that want to get it done and get going now, then this, this saves you a lot of time. This, right here. And then, you want to build them out per thing and then have like the main components per scene and then just layer them as browser sources that's an idea I thought about that but I figured the most hassle I've ever had was this because I like to create my own the most hassle I've ever had was with these hey there guys thank you for making it to the very end of the video and if you liked this video go ahead and give it a like if you disliked it go ahead and give it a dislike but if you want to leave your comments down below go ahead and do that as well if you want to hang out with me on twitch i'll leave my link down below and if you want to message me on twitter or see my art on deviantr or various other websites and various other links all of that will be left down below in the description as well as the songs that were used in this video until next time stay rebellious